Hi guys and welcome back to Doc Off Call. I'm Dr. Maddie, your doctor from the UK, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look back at the Bucky anime series and we're going to be looking at one character specifically, that is Jack Hanma. All juiced up for the fight. Tonight's your big finale. As far as I'm concerned, tonight is nothing more than the dress rehearsal. The finale would be me caving in your skull. So the reason why I wanted to cover Jack Hanma is because he's had so many medical procedures throughout the Barkey series. Now in one of my previous videos I discussed the science behind leg lengthening, but today what I'm going to be looking at are the effects of steroids on the human body. I'll be talking about some of the advantages as well as the disadvantages and explain some of the science that we see in these scenes. And if you like videos like this, why not check out some of my previous videos. My last one I covered the anime Hajime no Ippo and I spoke about the dangers of excessive weight cutting. And just before we begin, if I can get you to give this video a like, it really helps us out. Otherwise, if you're ready, let's begin. Why are you doing this? Two. There is one man I am sworn to destroy. To accomplish my destiny, I must be the strongest man in the world. Anything less would mean defeat. <laughs> so in this first scene, we can see that Jack Hanma is going to the doctor to gain strength to defeat his father, Yojiro. And I totally get it, Yojiro raped his mother, and what can I say, Jack is a mama's boy. But you can't expect to rock up to a doctor's clinic and just expect them to prescribe you steroids for performance enhancement. But it is legal for doctors to prescribe steroids so long as they meet certain indications. For example, if they have naturally low levels of steroid hormones, which is having a negative effect on their health. And one of the commonest scenarios that I see as a doctor is men presenting through with testosterone deficiencies who are symptomatic with symptoms like fatigue, loss of libido and or depression. Now in these instances, these patients will have their testosterone levels monitored. They'll be referred to a specialist who might prescribe a synthetic form of testosterone. Now the most common one that people are familiar with are something called testosterone replacement therapy. And what this does is it looks to bring their testosterone levels up to a normal level. This is madness. If your goal is strength, you're sabotaging your own progress. Know that I understand your determination and that I share your same resolve. So what this doctor is getting at here is that performance enhancing or anabolic steroids can have a disastrous effect on your health, both in the short term and in the long term. So yes, in the short term, steroids would look to increase your muscle mass and reduce your body fat, thereby improving your strength. And we've seen many famous examples of athletes taking steroids like these and getting caught. But these steroids don't only work on the muscles in your arms and legs, they also work on the muscle in your heart, causing it to increase in size. Now initially this is a good thing because you're going to need a bigger heart to cope with the bigger body and the pressures that you're putting on it with your weight training, but with excessive muscular growth and excessive training this can begin to put too much stress on the heart causing it to fail as well as putting you at risk of things like heart attacks. And a clearer way to illustrate this is imagine trying to pump up a full bouncy castle using just a foot pump. If death has no hold on you, if the demons in your soul have sway over your mind, you owe it to yourself to use the knowledge I offer. Now you can continue unimpeded with your unusual training ritual. <laughs> it didn't take much to convince this doctor to prescribe him steroids. But it's important to remember that steroids are prescription only medicines and therefore must be prescribed by a health professional. It's otherwise illegal to supply them or to have them for your personal use in the UK with penalties including an unlimited fine or up to 14 years in prison. And as you can see in this scene, steroids don't just come as tablets, they can come in creams, gels or even injections. And here in the case of Jack Hummer, it looks like he's willing to just about take anything to pursue his goal. The pills will enhance the effects of X4 and help regulate your metabolism. The more you take, the greater your strength will increase. However, you will experience intense pain throughout the first week while your body adapts to the accelerated growth process. Okay, so in this scene we see that Jack is taking a tablet to help stabilize the effect of the steroid. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it could be a tablet that helps to offset some of the harmful side effects of the raw steroid that he's taking. And I'm aware in the fitness industry that steroid use is actually rife, and you have 
fitness athletes taking a cocktail of different tablets to try to offset some of the side effects such as gynecomastia or boob development or fluid retention which is also commonly reported. But speaking of some of the short term side effects of steroids, people can expect to experience things like mood swings, insomnia and rarely you can actually experience full blown psychotic episodes. Other side effects that you might not see but may well still be harmful are things like a raised blood pressure or blood sugar and many patients actually report an irritation of the lining of their stomach which can be incredibly painful. And this is why steroids are prescription only medicines and really should only be issued after a long discussion with your healthcare provider. More power. So here we're seeing some of the changes in Jack's strength as well as the structure of his body. For example, we can see that he's generally got more muscle, but also it looks as though his bone structure has also changed. And characteristically, it gives that chiseled appearance of the face that you see with a lot of people who abuse steroids. Beautiful. I need a body that can withstand more rigorous training. Your body has already performed well beyond expected limits. If we increase the dosage, the effects to your internal organs may be disastrous. Your heart could explode. Now, could Jack Hunmer's heart explode? Well, the obvious answer is no, but it can definitely increase in size to a dangerous level. And this is as a direct result of the steroids increasing your blood pressure, which causes your heart to work harder. On top of this, the heart has to work harder anyway because it now needs to pump blood around a bigger body. Inevitably, the heart fails to keep up and most people taking steroids die prematurely from heart disease. I already told you the consequences are meaningless. I must get stronger. I don't care if I live one more year or a hundred so long as I defeat him. Jack, shoving more formula down your throat will only serve to make you a mutant. So Jack has really thrown caution to the wind here, demonstrating his resolve to defeat his father. My question here though is why did he not try the secret sex training that Barky did? It seemed to work wonders for him. But this obsessive behavior that Jack has to become stronger is something very similar to what we see in people who take steroids. There seems to be a large proportion of users of steroids who are suffering from body dysmorphia, where they feel they are either not big enough or strong enough. And this is understandable when you have so many people on social media who are using steroids and denying it. They often post pictures of physiques which you can't achieve naturally, which unfortunately fuels the problem. And it's also important to mention that steroids are in fact addictive. That's to say you can often crave them, you require a greater amount to have the desired effect, and you may well experience withdrawal symptoms if you stop them abruptly. <laughs> and of course, the only way to test one's strength and gains from the gym is to find a polar bear and of course, kill it. Now, normal people would probably tell tales of having escaped a polar bear encounter, whereas I think in the Bucky universe, polar bears probably tell stories of surviving a Hanma encounter. Now, just as a disclaimer, I have to say no animals were harmed in the making of this video. And to break down this fight, I think you'd need a vet to break down this fight scene rather than myself as a doctor. But one question I just need to clear up here, did Yojiro also use steroids to get this big? I can only warn that for a man to reach the point of total perfection, he must first master the mental capacity to govern the awesome strength a formula like X4 provides. To do otherwise is nothing short of suicide. Yes, so as this doctor suggests, there are some mental implications from taking this formula or these steroids. It's not uncommon that the mood swings you experience with short-term use can develop into full-blown depression if you're taking steroids on the long term. And we have to remember how anabolic steroids actually work. They put an immense pressure on the body to grow. And what this does on the long term is that it increases your natural circulating stress hormone, which we call cortisol. 
and it's been shown that the constant exposure of the human brain to cortisol is like working a highly stressful job literally 24 7 which i'm sure you can imagine would make someone both stressed and depressed i thank you for giving me this body professor Vera. i realize i didn't turn out quite as you'd intended but then what project ever does so we can see here that Jack is in fact stockpiling these steroids, which is really important because unfortunately, once you pop, it's not that easy to stop. Now, chronic steroid use unfortunately turns off your body's natural ability to create steroids yourself. And therefore, if you stop them abruptly, you can suffer from serious withdrawal symptoms. These might include things like headaches, muscle and joint pains, anorexia, anxiety, and the list really goes on. Therefore, whenever you're coming off of steroids, we really advise you to do it slowly so that your body's internal factory for making steroids can kick back in. I know you think of me as a monster, something that needs to be contained or removed altogether, and I'll be happy to end this farce and fade into oblivion. But first, I must complete my mission. So Jack Hammer is clearly a monster at this point, and I believe that this isn't even the end of his body modification. We see in later clips that he has limb lengthening surgery to become even taller. And I understand that in the manga, he's also developed his own form of martial arts, which he calls the way of the biting, and has had a full set of titanium teeth implanted into his mouth to enhance this form of fighting. Gosh, what a nightmare for those polar bears. The demon who betrayed my mother and all humanity must be destroyed. You're looking at your last opponent, Hanma. I was born so that the king would fall. You know, there are so many badass lines in this scene, and I really can't wait to see the father and son battle it out. But watching this scene, I really like the way the anime was animated. It's kind of reminiscent of some of those old 90s shows such as the X-Men or Spider-Man TV series. And for whatever reason, the Jack Hanma character kind of reminds me of Wolverine from the X-Men. What do you guys think? Okay, so we covered quite a lot of ground today. We spoke about the advantages, the disadvantages of steroids, and we also spoke about some of the medical science in those scenes. Now, I've recently had the thought to make videos more like this, where we cover specific scientific topics with an anime character or an anime series to best illustrate the point. Now, if you have any suggestions of any general science topics and anime shows that might fit those, please leave those down in the comments. Otherwise, as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks.